four crew members outside of NASA with a background in science and technology will embark upon a mission to Mars, but they're doing it right here at the Johnson Space Center in a Mars habitat. So for 365 days, they will eat, sleep and exercise just as if they were in outer space. As we're moving from near Earth orbit or low Earth orbit to further missions further away from Earth, we really need to understand how we're impacting crew health with more limited resources. NASA's Moon to Mars exploration started with missions like the Artemis launch and continues with this Mars simulation habitat. It's about the size of a three to four bedroom house and will be used for NASA's longest analog mission to date, 365 days. It's an isolation and confinement mission for a year with a crew of four. We're putting in realistic simulations. So they're going to be doing realistic Mars tasks. They're going to have a lot of uh, exploration activities in our sandbox, which will be more Mars realistic. From the sand to the 3D printed walls, this Mars habitat will be a place where the volunteers will practice their personal hygiene and health care, like drawing blood. They will also exercise, grow food, and collect geology samples. We are going to be measuring their performance, their cognition, their health over that year to really understand and make sure that we're supporting it. And then that information we can take and give to the vehicle planners. This area will soon be packed with all of the supplies that will go to Mars. But there is one area of life on Mars NASA couldn't simulate. So we are not able to simulate the Mars gravity. So what we've created here is um, a space where we can simulate uh, virtual reality spacewalks or Mars walks also simulate a variety of other um, expected tasks that we might see on Mars, such as geology, uh, removing dust from your spacesuit or solar panels, uh, to repairing the habitats. Once they're here, the volunteers will go through training, similar to if they were preparing for an actual mission to Mars. They will have limited communication with family and friends with the same delays that they would have in outer space. Two additional crew members will be trained just in case anyone opts out or cannot make it through the year-long mission. In Houston, Joy Addison, Fox News.